Hey everybody, this is Eric. Um, today I'm doing a movie review for the podcast. Um, this is still the actual podcast. I decided for the format, I'm just gonna do like variation of horror news, movie reviews, and uh, DVD updates. So yeah, today I'm doing a specially requested review from a filmmaker named Anthony Cooney, and um, he sent me a copy of his movie to to review. And I really appreciate stuff like that, you know, independent horror filmmakers that want their movies reviewed. All I ask for is a free copy of the movie to watch. You know, especially, like, if people, if reviewers are paid by the filmmakers to review their movies, it's obviously going to look like we're being paid to give a good review. But I I wasn't getting paid for this review. And um, I finally got done with my movie, Gambler's End. You can watch that down there. I finally got the opportunity and the, the, the time to watch this and review it. So, yeah. Um, leaf Blower Massacre is about this guy who's going around with a leaf blower killing people. And that alone is hilarious. Just if you, if you just give a synopsis of the movie to somebody, they're going to laugh. And just wait till they actually watch the movie. They're going to be busting their guts laughing. Um, my friend and I were in tears because it was so funny, (laughs) and I'm, I'm, I really, really, really hope that Anthony was not going for the whole scary thing, but he was actually going for something that was funny, because if he was doing, trying to do something funny, then he did a terrific job, but if it was actually trying to be scary, uh, it fell very, very short, to be honest. But yeah, it works as a comedy the best. And um, the camera you used, um, it's it's it looks amateur. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look bad. It, it's a good quality camera for sure. I've seen worse. Um, but yeah, it was just shot on a like a camcorder like this, you know. Um, this is my old Panasonic HDC SD60 HD camera that I used for a couple of years. But yeah, it kind of looks like something that would have been shot on this, you know, 30 frames per second, so, stuff like that. But yeah, um, uh, there's some interesting shots in it, I guess, and, uh, the comedy, again, is so hilarious, especially the opening scene. My friend and I were crying because this was so funny. Well, I shouldn't say crying, we were teared up because it was so funny, and, it, the YouTube channel where you can find the trailer, which has been like, has, I have a little still from right here, is uh, Josh Step, J O S H S T E P, youtube.com slash Josh Step. Link in the description for that. And the trailer, you can just click on the little thing here and you'll get to watch the trailer. So, and he's got a bunch of other stuff on his uh, channel too, which is interesting. And. Um, I don't know if the DVD of the movie's for sale, because the movie's not on YouTube, I'm assuming that it's for sale, um, but yeah, it, it was really funny, um, I was actually thinking that it was gonna be like a 40 minute movie, uh, somewhere I heard that it was gonna be like 40 minutes, but it wasn't, it was like 10 minutes, and it kinda caught me off guard, but it didn't derail the comedy at all, it was still hilarious. It was still a hilarious movie. I would definitely watch it again if I wanted to. Dis- if I wanted to show somebody it, because the movie is so short, um, it definitely has a lot of rewatch value. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for um, people like this to be coming to me asking me to review their movies because, you know, once again, uh, being paid for reviews isn't the best thing. It's it's not the best thing to do. So, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the movie. Um, on the on the scale of 1 to 10, um, for the enjoyment factor, it gets an 8 out of 10 because it's so hilarious. But as an actual movie, it gets... I would say a 5. You know, I've seen worse, don't get me wrong. People trying to be funny... And scary at the same time, or trying to be, like, try, or trying to make it look like they're trying to be scary on purpose, but it was just falling short on purpose, but this is definitely, this definitely hit it right on the nail, 
and um, I think it cannot, it won't be able to work as like a longer film. I'm glad that it was shorter because it made it much more funny, much more gives it much more rewatch value. And I'll I'll definitely be watching this again sometime soon. I'll probably be showing it to some of my friends. <laughs> It's, it's, it's really funny. It's a really funny movie. Good job, Anthony. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching the podcast today. I know it's a bit short, but whatever. Um, I'll be doing one tomorrow, maybe. You want to actually know. I'm deciding to take, like, weekends off on the podcast only because, you know, it's the weekend. I need a break from these because I'm usually, I'm not used to doing daily videos. So I need a break every once in a while. So, yeah, that's it for this week. Um... There's going to be another re- movie review on Friday. Um, I might as well just tell you now. It's a movie called Memesis. And very funny thing, actually. Uh, my the direct my directing instructor at my school actually made this movie. So that's going to be interesting if he ends up seeing it. Um, I, know, I really want to do an audio commentary on this. Like This is going to be one of our first commentaries we do for the commentary series that I plan on producing. But yeah, definitely excited. Oh, the microphone just fell down. But yeah, uh, thank you for... Stop it! God. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.